We are mother and daughter, Sharon and Diana. In June of 2022, we flew 2,600 miles from Seattle to Maui to stay in a beachside condo, go to a chocolate tasting, and enjoy a once in a lifetime trip. Thank you for flying with us today. We look forward to seeing you again soon. Mahalo and take care. Hi, this is Di and I am with my mom and we are in Maui. Hello, ha. Finally got to bring my mom. I've been wanting to bring her, but you know, popular sickness. Our second full day in Hawaii, bringing mom to Maui. Hey mom. We made some food, salad and shrimps, and some pog juice, passion orange guava, and another beautiful day. Factory. We're gonna go on a chocolate tour. Well, we're not going on the tour. We're gonna go taste chocolate. Our chocolates are like CDs. We just got back from a Maui chocolate factory tour. Well, we did the tasting. And um, mom, how was it? Um, it was a wine tasting for the be best chocolate in the world. I don't know you'd get it anywhere else. It was wonderful. So unique. Yeah, and it's been 12 years since I've had chocolate, so it's kind of a big deal. I mean, I've had a box of Cocoa Pebbles since, but since I've really had chocolate, and um, yeah, that, that was the first chocolate bars I've had. Mm -hmm. You know, we had a bite of chocolate last night, but that's not the same thing. Yeah. This was a whole different animal. This was chocolate. It was cocoa butter, cocoa powder. And sugar. And sugar. That unless was it. it was milk chocolate, then it had milk. And unless it was fruity and they added fruit to it. But some of the beans came from Ecuador and some of the beans come from Maui because they only have a 20 acre farm here. So they can't do it all with, they wouldn't have any varieties because it's, you know, a really small farm. We didn't tour the farm this time. I'm gonna do that another day. Mm -hmm. I wanna see the farm now. Yeah. It was pretty amazing. I'll show you footage. Um, we had a host that uh, told us the story of her owner who decided to do this in his retirement, turned 50. He invented the home pregnancy test. He had money to waste developing chocolate on Maui. <laughs> Yes, it's a passion project. Oh my gosh, Snap-on Tools is here. That is a vehicle full of tools. It's worth so much that they actually, oh, he's blocking a fire hydrant. It's worth that much. Yep. <laughs> and people will actually kill the the, the drivers oh, really? to steal to the get, tools. Yeah. There's thousands of dollars. Um, now we're gonna go to spend the day in Lahaina, which is gonna be great, because the whole time I'm gonna be thinking about chocolate. Yep. And more chocolate, and heavenly, heavenly Maui chocolate. Uh, the texture, the flavors. The price. The price. <laughs> it is outlandishly expensive. 
what have I done? I've wasted my whole life. My whole life should have been it, when eating When you have chocolate Maui's that comes with a vintage. Yes, it has the year it was grown on it. <laughs> yeah, vintage, yeah, yeah. But they have a website and we got a 20% off coupon. So yeah. here's the actual company. And I am not paid, I'm not a paid spokesmodel. No, this was wonderful. It was wonderful. wonderful. So we are on day two and we're already on the highlight of the trip. So now everything else is just going to be a little depressing because it's not <laughs> going to be this strong. Well, you just shut the trip down, girl. <laughs> That's it. We're done. Nothing's stopping the chocolate. We can just go home. <laughs> Uh, we're on day two. We couldn't buy any to ship home because it would have shipped overnight. No and we bueno. wouldn't be home to get it. No, no bueno. So we're going to wait and go to the website with our little 20% off coupon. But they were not handing out. He had to dig around to give it to us. And yeah. They weren't advertising like, oh, order online. Use the code NEW20. That was like we had to work for that. Yeah. But use the code NEW20. And remember that I was not a sponsor and I still gave you the discount. That chocolate. <sighs> <laughs> Are just out on the lanai watching the sunset reminiscing about the day yeah and hear the waves crashing there's a whole thing about eating dinner in lahaina right now there's a whole thing because there aren't enough employees because of popular sickness and you know there's been the great what is it where everyone left their jobs yeah resignation yeah it's been the great resignation i was part of the great resignation so there's not enough workers so you have to have reservation and I wanted to go to Cheeseburger in Paradise and it is booked from 4 30 to 8 30 every night as long as we're on the trip so there is no eating there not that it was anything special it just you know it was a very was a place you knew it was a line of thing to do yeah so I really wasn't sure how we were going to eat dinner or when we were going to eat dinner it just wasn't planned at all we were just walking down the street you shop at all the little shops you know it's kind of 11 word uh, what did you compare it to? Yeah, in Alaska. Uh, yeah, in any boat stop in Alaska, it looks like that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it looks like one of those places you get out and shop. There used to be a cruise that dropped people off and they would shop. And we were hitting all those little stores and I heard guitar music. Mom heard it too. Yes. And I was like, ooh, and we looked up at one of the bars and they already had music playing and it was yeah. a man playing the guitar. Probably the age of my kids, probably 30, 35. Yeah. And he was playing guitar. And so we looked up and I looked up and mom looked up and he looked down while he was playing. He said something, what do you say? Like, hi ladies? Hi ladies. Hi ladies. And then he saw somebody new and he said, hi cousin. And we looked at each other and I was like, mom, I think we have to go up there now. We should go up and just have a drink. Yeah. And then she noticed it was happy hour. So that's bonus because whenever something's cheap, I'm in. <laughs> And so we ran up there and ordered drinks and um, Jason played and he was doing a whole bunch of covers. But he was doing a really nice job. It reminded me of when we went to see my friend uh, Patrick Santera do his music. But anyway, um, here's some clips of Jason. Oh, 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 
then we ended up ordering food and we ate nachos and then we left. It was the thing. It was the thing and it was fun. It was the first rule of improvisation, which is you always say yes. I am a happy dog. I am such a happy dog running on the beach. Look at him. This is the best day ever. This is the best day ever. You know, if he had talked to a lot of, been like, hey ladies, to a whole bunch of ladies on the street, it'd be different. We were the only people he ever noticed that were, he was saying to come in, really. Yeah, who he was talking to on the street. I think he just noticed we appreciated the music. He noticed it from the back of his head. <laughs> so I'm not sure exactly how that works. But Jason, at the dirty monkey at the dirty monkey <laughs> do we look like people who hang out yeah, at the dirty, the dirty monkey, monkey. <laughs> it was so not any of those things no it no. was a place to eat appetizers and cheap drinks and, and listen to jason play 70s and 80s music but bring his a, own version ring a fire you know yep yep uh, uh, he did a Take Me to the River, which is Al Green, but covered by Talking Heads. Yeah. What else? He did a song, he said it was by an unknown group. You should check them out, Led Zeppelin. Led Zeppelin, yeah. yeah. Yeah, so he had a whole bit. He was doing kind of a lounge lizard, try seafood kind of thing before while he was going. So I just appreciated hard work yeah. and talent. I never heard a missed note. He had a beautiful voice. He did. Um, didn't match the person, which is even funnier. Yeah, yeah. But uh, yeah, we just said yes, and we had a little adventure that was not dangerous. It was in any way, shape, or form. But we were going down the stairs, and I went down first, and I turned around to jokingly kid with my mother that I would catch her at the bottom of the stairs should she fall. But there was a man carrying ice out from behind us, so like he had whatever booth somewhere and he can get his ice from the dirty monkey and take it yeah and he was muscular and tan and everything <laughs> and what did he say he said you can't catch me <laughs> i can't catch her i was kidding <laughs> so we had a little safe adventure and so and had our dinner without having to pay too much money yet. yes and i got to tip too much you know that kind of thing Lahaina gave us a good adventure today and we didn't have to find food. Yeah. I was worried because of not having reservations, but we didn't. So we had chocolate nachos today and then we made a stop on the way home. What did we stop for, Mom? Well, I had heard of Laotis um, on several YouTube videos. Everybody said when you go to Maui, you have to go to Laotis for pie. So we drove by. I didn't know where Laotis was, but we drove by and saw it. And I said, Laotis, we have to get pie. <laughs> we haven't eaten our pie yet. No. Where are we at, Mom? We're at Laotis Pies. I know nothing. She watches YouTube. She knows more than me. And I just heard someone say, it's, an, insti a sign. it's an institution. This is the chocolate one that I ate. Is it? All right. Yeah. This one went behind it. Yeah. But there's pie in the fridge. There's pie in the fridge. And the little Laotis makes little little handful pies. Expensive. Expensive little. handful pies. But we ate really expensive chocolate today too. Yeah. But we had a nice day between we did. the chocolate tasting, mm -hmm. do the walk, chocolate walking tasting. the streets of Lahaina, mm -hmm. and um, our dirty monkey experience. <laughs> Not what you think it is. And stopping for pie at Laotis, which means you have to be able to pull off the road pretty quick to get in there. We did. We got in and out. Thanks, Mike. Yep. The car. The Turo's doing great. Yep. And, and the Turo's doing wonderful. Yep. It's getting us from point A to point B, just like we need it to, and it hasn't eaten up any gasoline at all. And there are so many people out right now. Oh my gosh, I keep looking away. Look at all the people. I don't know if the kids are playing football or something, but they have some sport going running on the beach and then there's other people just adulting on the beach and there's like older adults over here click here for my last trip to hawaii or down below for a video youtube picked out just for you